Welcome to Kentish Town. Well, today we're going to be exploring all around Kentish Town and surrounding area maybe a little bit. If we get a chance, but there's a lot to see here, so we might not get it all in. But let's see how it goes, see what we can find. So straight away we've got one of Kentish Town's more famous sites before we hardly even start. Look at that beauty. Let's get the foot out and have a look at that. So this will always be known to me as the Kentish Town Forum. They call it the O2 now. All venues are called O2s. It's kind of disappointing when they're all starting to merge into the same thing. So the first thing, the first thing you need to know about this wonderful venue behind me is that I've been to it several times. Most of them to see Stiff Little Fingers, one of the best punk rock bands you will ever see. And they're still going now. Uh, this year they played, I missed them this year, but they played just down the road in, where was it, the Camden Roundhouse. But I've seen them six or seven times, so I can afford to skip a year. So this venue has been known by loads of names over the years. Starting off with the Kentish Town Forum Theatre, 1934 to 1963. Let's just rattle off a few of the other names here from then on, without going into too much detail. ABC Kentish Town, Forum Dance Hall, Town and Country Club, London Forum, The Forum, <laughs> HMV Forum, now, of course, the O2 Academy, Kentish Town Forum, something or other. They're all O2s now. So, yeah, it's had a lot of names and changes over the years, but as far as I can tell, the inside and everything else has all been pretty much the same. It's a classic sort of rock venue, grungy, dark interior, low level, um, slightly raised floor. It does have a second level to it, uh, a couple of grungy bars. Scuzziness at its best, I would say. Okay, so I've just done a quick bit of homework. It was built in 1934 in the style of an Art Deco cinema. Bit of a classic design. Uh, after the cinema was closed, the venue was reopened as an Irish dance hall. And in the 1980s, it changed direction from a bingo hall to a dance hall, and then to a live music venue under the name Town and Country Club. Yeah. In 2007, MAMA, -A, Mama Is It and Company purchased the forum from Mean Fiddler and spent 1.5 million on renovations, increasing their capacity to 2,300. And in 2015, the venue was acquired by Live Nation and rebranded as the O2 Kentish Town Forum, part of the O2 Academy Group. Come see some live bands at the O2 Kentish Town Forum. Free, on me. Kentish Town Forum. Massive great church. This is Highgate Road. Carry on up this road and you'll end up in Highgate, which at some point we'll hit it. But for now, let's just check out Kentish Town. So we're going to be looking at some of the different things we can find in the area. Checking out the alleys and the back streets and some of my old haunts, some pubs, some places that have closed. Already I've just thought of something here on the right hand side if I can get to it. Yep, here we go. Thanks man, let me in. Hey, so this is a rather well-known street called Little Green Street. It's got a lot of history, not much of which I know because I didn't plan for this bit, but it's still a great little area. And while we're at it, let's take an alley. So Little Green Street is just one of sort of the last great cobbled streets with classy little houses, I think. Let's just go up here, because it looks real nice. It is nice. So last time, when we were over in Maida Vale, we stumbled across an estate called the Alexandra Estate by American-born architect called Neve Brown. And it just so happens that there's some more of his work in this area. So we'll be checking that out in a bit. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy this, the beauty of Northern Kentish Town, I guess. Look at this very regal, what would you call this? Is this Georgian, Edwardian estate? With a nice green in front. 
and I was against stage opposite. It's beautiful anyway. They got blue plaques and all sorts of stuff. Who is this blue plaque? Sir Jeffrey Jellico. Never heard of him. I'm sure he's famous. How about this? Isn't this very made of ale like? Very much. I didn't realize quite how much it is like made of ale, come to think of it. So we're just heading under the railway arches by Gospel Oak train station. The Royal Oak pub. Never actually being in here. This might actually prove to be a tricky one on a bike. It's a ramp, of course. I'm just gonna have a little look. Wow, I've never done this, this is great. Now, I'm not even sure I've got the right place. Still, it's different. <laughs> it's very cool to be here. Okay, and here we go. Well done now. Okay. Okay, this is a real test. Expect that. Let's pop into Oak Village instead. <laughs> so this is Oak Village. It's like a little village within a village. A really nice little area of houses, sort of tucked away. Difficult to get to by car um, in the Gospel Oak area, I suppose. Nice to walk through this. This is like one of my shortcuts once, as you can see by the houses. <laughs> and actually one of my greatest inspirations lives here I'm not going to tell you where but he is an older gentleman and one of the first classic travelers uh, made a lot of TV programs you might be able to work it out I'm not going to give it away look how colorful it is around here hmm. all right some singing going on Hello, kitty. Little big boy. You know, we're in the hood here. So let's go down here and have a look. This also looks cool. What have we got up here? Oh, time to get out. Yes. And this is what Kentish Town looks like. Let's just pop out over that side. Well, we've taken a shortcut through the middle there to somewhere I didn't really want to be, but we can come back here later. Hang on a minute. What is this block up here on the left? This has got to be worth checking out. This is more like it. This, I believe, is the Dubois estate. Yeah, that's got Neve Brown written all over it. Let's see if I can get in there somehow. It looks complicated. Very complicated. Yes, no. Wow, it's all closed up. Special access. All the gates are locked. I suspect it's going to be the same. Look at that. Completely closed off. Well, that's the first. Oh, I wish I could get in there. Never mind. Can't be done. Picture that sort of concrete, scuzzy version in West Hampstead, I call it. It was still in Camden. Picture that one. Kind of in white in here. Up in Hampstead up that way. Let's give you a few facts about this Des Boyne Road estate. It's a bit of an architectural classic. If you're an architecture student or you want to, you know, research some of this stuff, it's pretty fascinating. Previously known as the Fleet Road Estate, is a Grade II listed modernist estate designed in Gospel Oak by London architect Neve Brown in the late 1960s. They were built in 1967 as an experiment with 71 houses, a shop, and a studio were arranged in parallel terrace rows in groups of eight or 16. Following the split level principles that Brown had used in his small housing scheme in Winscombe Street. Each house has a large terrace overlooked by communal gardens. It's just a shame that we can't get in there to have a little look at it. If I would have liked that, I think it would have been interesting. No wonder I've never seen it, it's all gated off. Okay, time for a little bit more exploring of the area. We're gonna get back into Kentish Town Central. We're kind of skirting the edges of Hampstead and Belsize Park here at the moment. Right, I think we can duck down here. I've got a feeling there's a shortcut. Another massive great church. Oh God, it's a tight one. 
got to apply my skills again. Hang on. Bear with. There we go. Ooh, this is a tricky one. What have we got in us? Let's see. Good brake control. Oh, every time. Yeah, what are we here? Oh, somewhere else we can explore. Let's see what we got. There's our first closed pub. Make a note of that, because there's going to be more of these. Closed pub number one. The beautiful old building, the Lord Southampton. I never drank in this one. Look how classy that was. What a shame to let that go to that state. Come on, somebody. Well, actually, somebody will do something with it, and it will be flats, and it will be silly money. Right, something else I've just noticed, and I've never seen this before. Almshouses. There's some more almshouses. St Pancras almshouses. What are they all about? I really don't know. If you know, please let me know. I would love to know more about what almshouses are. I can see rows of them inside. Let's, let's go a bit off-grid here. Okay. Very quiet. Yeah, I've got on the back. Looks like I'm going to survive it. This is a big estate area. Wow, it's huge. Ooh, it's a bit rough looking, isn't it? Don't you think? Neve Brown could have done a better job than this, I would say. Camden, the word I was thinking is a little bit confusing because Camden, as most of you will think of, as being Camden Town. And there is a Camden town, of course, just down the road from here. But Camden is also a borough covering lots of different areas like Hampstead, uh, Kentish Town, Camden itself. Uh, yeah, different parts of London. So Camden is a place and Camden is a borough. Oh yeah, we're gonna hang a left here. Back into here to a street I know rather well. There's on the right hand side here, we've got more of the Maitland estate. Nice individual houses on the left. It's going to be a dead end, but I think it's worth a quick look. Let's see. It's what you can get around here. Look at all these colours. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Look at these nice, colourful places. Look at that. This is what you can find just off of Queen's Crescent in Camden, in Kentish Town. Ah. So here we have within the space of couple of hundred meters just up that way was our previous pub called the Southampton Arms this big building you see here behind me this used to be known as the monkey chews pub so this is our second closed down pub in the area I've had a couple of drinks in this pub yeah it was okay you know it was a typical sort of backstreet pub it was very good trying to be cool quite trendy but there came a time when I guess they couldn't afford to stay open anymore I saw it closed down so the developers making having discussions when I used to ride past you every day going to work. I saw them putting scaffolding up, hoarding going up, and I saw it slowly turning into flats. Another pub bites the dust. All right, so this little street is called Queen's Crescent, split into two by a Malden Road going up that way with all these little side streets going off. It's split down the middle by Malden Road. And there's the sign, Queen's Crescent there. Yeah, so this is the junction of Malden Road and Queen's Crescent with Queen's Crescent running across that way. There you can see the sign for Queen's Crescent, a big cast iron possibly sign across the top there. And a pub, but this pub is open. This one stayed open, it was open the whole time. It's called the Sir Robert Peel. If you know anything about the, the name Peel and the Robert Peel, you can see it along the top. So Robert Peel, so Robert Peel. And I've also drunk in there over the years. Robert Peel, I'm stabbing in the dark a little bit here, but I would say he was one of the first policemen or had something to do with the instigation of the police and the police force. So maybe that's why it's still open. Who knows? Right, going across into Queen's Crescent. The street I used to know very, very well many years ago. So this is famous for having um, a market. It used to be on a Thursday, I believe. Market stalls opening up and they probably still do. Anyway, it's a little bit of a shop street. We can have a look in here. Oh, here we go again. Right. You'd think these things were designed to stop bikes getting through. Why 
is it so quiet? It's almost like everybody's staying in their houses because there's been an air raid siren gone off or something. Weird. Getting myself lost, of course. Taking every alley I can find. Down here. Take this one. It should spit us back out on Queen's Crescent. I guess. So yeah, low rises everywhere. Well, low rises, three stories, four stories. Is that low rise? Which chucks us back out on the Queen's Crescent. With its community areas and community hubs and estates and everything else. So once again, we seem to have a bit of a theme going on here. The next thing I've got to show you is, believe it or not, another closed pub. So this one here, there's one here. I can't remember the name of it, which is ironic because it was the closest one to where I live. So this place, that big green building, was also a pub, is now, no doubt, several flats. I went in there once or twice, and honestly, the once or twice that I did go in, there was like three, four, five people in there, max, absolute max. There's another pub, the Bites of Dust, yet again. And this is also on Queen's Crescent. So this is two pubs on one road, gone. There's more to come. Good news. This is fun. This is the Kentish Town City Farm. I've never been in. I was kind of intended to, but it's, it's kind of a kid's thing, I guess. London has a few city farms to show the kids what rabbits and donkeys look like, I suppose. Things like that. Fun, fun little mistake to explore. Right, one of the nice things about London, what I find is you just come across these beautiful old warehouse buildings like this spring house. It's lovely sort of places. This street, Armour Street, is well known for its street fair, street carnival, or like a, yeah, fair. Maybe it's August Bank holiday from memory. Another lovely warehouse building. Really nice. In front of us is Kentish Town High Street going across. We're going to do a quick right here and then double back. I'm going to go down here first straight on and I'm going to come back up. Here's a rarity for you and a fact. You see that building there, cash converters. That was once going to be a tube station called Kentish Town South. And if you look at it, it looks just like a tube station, doesn't it? They never quite made it because I think, as far as I know, they ran out of money. So it never became a tube station. We're going to hang a left here because we want to see this. What we have here is very well known in the area, Kelly Street. And it is a crescent, I suppose, of little terraces, all done in individual colours. And how nice it is. It's a short little street, but really nice. <laughs> well, here's something you don't see every day. Let's go and have a look. Handball. You don't see handball around very often. A little bit of green. This place has changed a lot. Everybody's talking about Amy Winehouse again for the movie coming out. This is her pub, or one of them. But it was known as her sort of pub. It's the Holy Arms. It's where she liked to drink. I don't know if you can see just up the top there, there's a picture of her in the window. We are right on the edge of Camden High Street here, which is somewhere which is always busy on a Sunday. 
So as a part of me thinks, well, we kind of have to cruise up Camden High Street on a Sunday. So we might well do that if I can find a way around to do it. Let's hit the high street, just give you a quick look. But as I said, it kind of really deserves its own episode. We're just gonna do a little bit of Camden on a Sunday, show you some of the madness. The main market itself is in that way. You see a pub here on the right hand side, it's long gone. So I played a gig in with the band years ago. Not anymore. Ugh, I don't want to squeeze there. The lights have just changed. There you go. That's the main market. I mean, it's such a popular place on a Sunday. It really is. Especially when the sun's out. This changes so rapidly, it's quite incredible. I suppose it's difficult because when you've lived here like I have, this is just commonplace. I could walk, I could walk to this in 20 minutes. It was that easy. So you get kind of oblivious to it. I mean this is what gives these places the character, where it all came from. Great. Back streets to Camden heading into Kentish Town. I keep getting myself lost and going around in circles, but that's just the nature of the game. When you're a bike explorer, let's go see. Just up here on the left is a pub called the Admiral. Really nice, been here several times. There it is. Still going strong, luckily. That pub's called Tapping the Admiral. And they had a little black cat there that they had whilst I was going there, and they named him Nelson. Something to do with the Admiral Nelson, no doubt. Come back next week when I find a brewery, visit my old house, point at something, find more alleyways, this bloke, and beat the traffic. Dad!